Now we're going to make this quick. We got a big game. We got to get ready for tonight, right? Yeah. While I'm at it, good luck to the basketball team. So excited to watch tonight. So um, had a great scrimmage out there again. Um, you know, we talked last week. A lot of the things that you know you want to improve on. Um, it was really, it was really good to see us each and every day focus on those things. You know, if you remember, we talked about you know having a great pass rush, which means we got to keep working on our protection, which. Uh, you know, offensively last week we talked about, you know, the run game was uh, was strong, and uh, you know that means the other side we want to see them kind of bow up a little bit more. And so, um, really, I thought things balanced out more so to where you didn't see these overriding strengths on either side, which to me, you know, means that uh, the side uh, of the ball that needed to work on it they got better. And so, really appreciate the efforts of the guys. It was uh, you know four days this week, and not like that's. Uh, a, a, a lot, but uh, you know, it's the most we've had. You know, we had back to back practices yesterday. We had a, a shortened practice, uh, but we still got after it. We had uh, some scrimmage in a little bit there. We stayed up and everything, but uh, I don't know the exact number of plays today, but probably probably almost hit 90. Uh, I don't know the exact number, but we we're probably in that uh, in that range. And um, 85 or so was what we wanted to get to. And some drives at the end that went a little bit longer, and um, it was all good. But uh, guys are, you know, you know, I think they they see how quickly it's going, uh, and uh, just wanting to continue to have that urgency uh, each and every day to make the most of the opportunities. I know there's some of the comments out there by the by them, and uh, they want to finish strong here. So we're in a good spot. Um, you know, in a week we're going to be uh, the eight day game. So looking forward to it. Questions? Questions. Mike. Is there an update just on uh, Parker Brailsford, and also is there an initial feeling on uh, James Roberts after he got injured today? How do we know about Gene? Uh, Jaden's going to be fine. Um, he might he might be down for a little bit here, but it'll be fine. Um, we'll do some follow up evaluations, uh, but early early reports, anyways. It feels like uh, it'll be nothing major. So, <clears throat> in regards to Parker, um, you know, Parker's just going through some non uh, football related things, and um, you know, he's going to be with us, and so uh, he's working out with our with our strength staff and uh, done a great job there. He's never done anything wrong. It's nothing like that. Uh, he's working hard and, you know, um, he's uh, he's going to be ready to go uh, here sooner than later. So just taking it day by day. Yep. Hey, one other thing with Parker, I mean, he's he's going to be here with us. He's it's not a transfer thing. It's nothing like that. So just want to make sure I'm clear again. You know, it's nothing on his end where he's done anything wrong or or anything like that. So. At this stage of a uh, spring practice, um, the continuity and the confidence level between the quarterback and wide receiver room, how do you see that developing and what's your confidence level in, as far as how? Yeah, you know, it's it's been really interesting. I think in that area, I see kind of ebbs and flows. Um, and some of it has to do with, you know, the middle of spring ball, you see the rhythm coming and um, them them hitting some, some routes and you're like, wow, we're getting there quick. And then you see the defense do a good job of adjusting to the things that our offense is starting to do well, uh, which is what they should, right? And uh, the tendencies. And so, you know, you take a lot of snaps against each other. So then all of a sudden you see it kind of fall off a little bit. And then uh, the offense makes some adjustments and what you do in a game. And, um, you know, we don't have everything in salt and you work on what you scripted that day. And so um, it's, it's been, I, I can't say there are these huge highs and lows, which I'm glad. Um, there's a consistent, I think, just continuing to, to move forward at the end of each week. And um, I thought we took a step forward today from what I would have saw, said Wednesday or Friday. And so um, that was really good to see. Coach, overall on the offensive line is, you know, progress wise from the first scrimmage and then specifically what you've seen from James Brockemeyer, who has, you know, been here pursuing this opportunity. Mm -hmm. And now it seems like he's got it. Yeah, he's done a really good job. Um, he's got a lot of opportunities to take a lot of snaps and, and um, you know, hanging in there. And the communication's been clean. And uh, you know, those five guys have been up there. Um, you know, we had, like you said, Jaden out for a couple snaps today. But um, you know, uh, he's done a really good job. You know, when those opportunities pop up, that's what you you need to do. And uh, he's taken a lot of snaps here uh, the last week, this past week, these last uh, six or seven days. So. Um, it's great, great uh, opportunity for him. And uh, what was the first question? <clears throat> yeah, I think we, um, we we had a strong performance in the run game a week ago. Um, I thought it was solid today. I think the defense did a nice job 
recovering from from last week. And then I think they did a better job offensive line wise of pass pro in general. And so um, and that some of that's assignment and just more reps. Some of it's just uh, just, you know, hunkering down and and uh, getting back to work. And uh, Coach Caps doing a great job of just every day, just pushing them and pushing them and they're responding. What have you assessed from the kicker position as well as kick returner and punt returner through spring? Yeah, you know, with the punt return, kick return, you know, we haven't done anything live. We're working on just the skills of catching. Um, you know, I don't really want to even get to a depth chart with that. We got a lot of guys back there, um, and you know, we'll we'll continue to assess. But um, you know, we got some explosive guys back there that I feel good about. Um, in the kick at the kicker position, it's. You know, it's kind of everyone's, you know, had their days, um, both, you know, doing really well. And, and they've been pretty consistent uh, for the most part. We had a windy day uh, a couple of days ago, a couple of practices ago, struggled a little bit. Right. Um, but those are great learning moments and um, really trying to push through. And uh, today uh, was a pretty good day. Today was a really good day. They're making all their kicks really didn't have any long field goals other than the, a session we had early where we were ch challenging them for five minutes there. Um, but, you know, they're all. They're all just keeping their head down, literally, right? Like they need to and uh, doing a good job there. Um, um, and so, you know, it's it's really an open competition there for a lot of guys to take advantage of. I'm not sure about protocol on this question, but uh, can you give us any names of people who stood out or is that? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think. Um, you know, here's here's the thing about scrimmages a lot of times, right? There's a lot of rotation of guys. And so it's hard for certain players to have these big, big days. Um, you know, I think of a catch uh, Caleb had a big touchdown, big target um, in the end zone. Um, nice throw. Uh, I believe Dylan made the throw, you know, um, really nice throw, gave him a chance. And then you saw this mammoth of a human being going up and making a play. Uh, it was one of the more impressive plays and it's what you want to do. It's going to be great film for us to teach off of. And so those bigger receivers um, give them a chance. And it was a, down in the end zone, a little uh, kind of corner route. So um, that's one play that sticks out. Uh, I think a lot of guys are just playing good, solid ball, making the plays they need to play, make. Um, you didn't see, you know, um, offensive guys really having drops and you didn't see defensive guys like missing a lot of tackles. Uh, I thought we all got to the ball. And so, I mean, I can, uh, but I don't even like getting into that because sometimes the film shows things otherwise, and I'm trying to manage a scrimmage and so forth. And so, you know, I'll watch the film, and maybe there'll be a couple more that stand out. But that one catch, because uh, it got some oohs and ahs, you know, from from I know the the fans, the sideline, uh, and so it was that was a really cool thing to see. Yes, coach. If you could just uh, please hit on uh, the defensive intensity, and then um, give us your thoughts on uh, tonight's big basketball game. Yeah, um, I mean, I'm not the one to probably break down the basketball game other than, you know, who I'm rooting for. Um, and uh, just, uh, you know, just uh, I guess on that note, uh, it's just been really fun seeing seeing our team um, here this uh, last part of the season. I don't want to say catch fire. I mean, I think they knew what they were capable of doing, um, but just stay in the course and the grit and fight. And, and uh, there's things that, you know, I'll take from, you know, comments made in the media by by staff, you know, coaches and, and players. And we'll, we'll use some of those little uh, nuggets to, to talk about this fall, you know, as these guys go on the run and learn from that. And, um, but yeah, I can't wait to watch the game tonight. And then um, what's the first question? Yeah. Um, you know, I think today's scrimmage in general, we did some drives where we started deep in our own territory, minus 25. Um, we had did some drives where we started from the middle of the field. We did some drives where we started in the red zone. And I think, you know, what you see is it's a lot easier to play in the defense uh, intensity when the offense is backed up, doing a really good job. And I think uh, uh, from an intensity standpoint, there was one uh, one steer series of plays, both ones and twos, where um, you know the the defense got to stop, and they got to stop by uh, by kind of a sequence of penalties. One was on them. Offense got the ball in the two and a half, got down to the one, and they just kept playing. Got a nice stop. Offense got a holding call. All right. And then they forced a field goal. And um, then later on, the offense had kind of a flip flop situation where they ended up scoring. And so um, it was really cool to see the intensity in that moment by the defense and us take 
that situation right there. And we're going to be able to draw on that. We there was one really thing I emphasized. It was that little sequence of plays and how and why you play the next play, why you just you know dig your cleats in the dirt and no matter if it feels like man, there's only one yard, you know you don't let those doubts creep in your mind and you just go make you go make that stop and. You know, um, you force a fumble, you force a turnover, you uh, get a penalty on the offense, and you know now you're holding the team to a field goal. And those are those are our big momentum swings. So that was one sequence of plays where I was really proud of them. All right, thanks, yeah, thank you guys. Roll Tide.